Hi friends. As we're stuck at home, I do try to clean stuff every weekend and see what we need, what we don't need, and declutter. And some of those things are those baby things that we've had. There are so many other things that we loved and put on our registry immediately, but these were the five that I didn't immediately think of to put on there and we absolutely love them and we still have them and I have a hard time getting rid of because I just love them so much. So the first thing is these elephant scissors. They're for cutting nails, um, but they're super sharp, but it's not like you can actually cut yourself. So they're safe, but they're really sharp so that you can cut those nails because babies fidget and their nails grow like, like nobody's business. They're like X-Men. So, um, as you can see, there was some cutting that happened by children, but um, they're the Rubis, I think that's how you say it, Switzerland scissors, but we call them the elephant scissors because obviously they're an elephant case. And we've really, really used them. Now I just use the standard nail cutting uh, devices on them and so we don't need this, but um, they, were, they were great. For many, many years, I think we just finally said, okay, we don't need these anymore, but these are awesome. So they're a little pricey, but in my mind, totally worth it. The second thing, and number two and number three were gifts from our friend Jane, um, who was a teacher at the time, and they've been awesome gifts. I think she gave it to um, my younger, or my older one, uh, when he turned one at his birthday, and they're the Leslie Patricelli books, and as you can see, they're totally loved and <laughs> read many, many times, as you can see with the binding coming apart. But these were so great and we got more of them from the library, but we've read these so many times. Toot is a funny one. Yummy Yucky, also a really, really good one where things are yummy and things are yucky. Uh, no, no, yes, yes. There are so many times you have to say no, right? So you want to say yes to a lot more things and potty. How many times have we read potty? Oh my goodness. And I'm not gonna say that this makes potty training easier because I won't say which one, but one of them was a lot harder to potty train and we read this book to, with both of them. So, but it's just a fun book. It's just a fun book. And I think we can recite all of these, all of us. Um, they're just fun and really cute. So the Leslie Petrocelli books are really, really great. The third thing is these cups. And right now there's like all sorts of stuff in them still because the kids, look, oh, so the spiny, Lego spiny in here. Um, and I can't find all 12, so here's what we have. But it came with 12 cups. And you know, when I first got them, I was like, oh, that's cool, you can stack them, you can do things with them. And there are a ton of things you can do with little tiny infants, like stack them on top of each other and they turn down the tower and it's just so fun when the tower falls down, right? But there are also other things um, like on the back of each one, there are these animals. And so we had fun putting Play-Doh and so the kids made like coins or, you know, all sorts of things um, with like Mad Matter, Play-Doh, whatever it might be. So you have cats and so you're doing that. There's also numbers on the side. So you're figuring out, okay, which one um, goes in order. It's also in Spanish. Um, but we also played games with these, like we made towers and hid things in them. And so people had to guess what was in them. There's just all sorts of games that you can play with it. And it's amazing how creative uh, people can be with just a stack of cups and the colors, the sorting is nice. And so we would, you know, sort, there were three of each color. And so you would sort them and um, again, all sorts of fun games you can play. If you want to know what kind of games we played, please comment and I'll make a separate video about the types of games that we played with the, the cups because I don't even know how many I'll have to ask the kids what their favorite games were. Um, but we played a lot of different things with them. Simple cups, but tons of fun. Number four is the crib zipper sheets. Uh, there's a lot of times where you have to change those sheets, right? Whether there's spit up, whether there's pee that le whatever it is there are so many times you have to change those sheets and so someone had recommended to me what about those crib um, zipper sheets it's basically you zip off the top and it's just the top that goes into the laundry the part that goes underneath the mattress will stay unless that part gets dirty too but that part doesn't get as dirty as that top layer right where the baby is on and so it is so awesome we have a bunk bed and 
I have been tempted so many times to get the twin size version of that because that's what's on the top bunk and it's a hassle to you know change that mattress sheet um, when we have to do the laundry and it is significantly more expensive to get the twin size than the crib size which is why I haven't gotten it yet but I don't know depending on uh, how many times we need to change that thing if it's more often or whatnot uh, I may be tempted to do that uh, at some point soon so stay tuned if you have one let me know um, how much you love it the last one is this guy so the other part of it is on our bathtub so I don't have it but it basically is a scoop for your bath toys because there are so many toys that get played with in the bath. They don't play in the bath as much anymore, so um, now it's just kind of storage for other things, but it comes with a little handle, it's a little frog, it comes with a little um, thing that you stick on that are its legs, and so you scoop it up, and all the water goes through here so that it gets dry and it's not you know, super wet the whole uh, day until the next day that they take a bath. And then you just hook it on right here. It hooks on to the edge of the bathtub, um, wherever you put that, uh, other piece and it just hangs there and it's cute and it's super easy to just fish out all those toys at the end the kids can do it it's kind of a fun game to say all right let's scoop up all the toys and then you hang it on the thing on the wall so this was just an unexpected uh gift but totally useful and we still use it to this day to my friends that are local if you want them i'm gonna come and ask if anybody wants them so uh, at least for most of them. Some of the things that we're still playing with won't be, but I will be asking. So comment below if any of it looks interesting to you. All right, until next time.